All right. Well, I have had these all of five minutes now. I don't know what time it is. I forgot to look before I started this. Uh, these are live. They're not really fish. They're shrimp. Uh, green jade, neocaridina. Same vendor as last time. I thought I'd uh, add to the order, and I'll explain that as we go so I can put this box down and hook you guys up on the tripod. So last time and this time, uh, it was uh, 10 plus... I think 10 plus one, and I ordered a, a double order. And I did that again this time. Same vendor from Houston, Texas, guy named Tommy. Really great communication. Uh, he's been a pleasure to deal with. And last time I dripped them, I think it was about four hours or so. I'll probably do about the same this time. I put them in the same 20 gallon that they're gonna go into. Uh, with Mickey Mouse platies, and I had five adults in there, and, and honestly, I'm not sure. I think the adults may have gotten to some of them. I know there's still some floating around. Well, not floating around, swimming around in there. So anyway, I thought I would get the adults out of there. There's still a bunch of fry you'll see in a minute. I will put these in without any adults this time. The tank's well seasoned. Uh, there's a lot for them to feed on, so, and there's some uh, corn wart floating. This is cool too. It's an insulated box. There's newspaper in it. Paper's a little damp, so maybe something's leaking a little bit and that happens. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, I don't know, it's like quarter inch or three eighths inch, uh, styrofoam cut to fit. So it's a nice tight insulation. And then there's a little bit of bubble wrap here. So, and it was all stuffed with paper to keep them from bouncing around inside the box. Uh, I appreciate that. And I'm betting the shrimp do too. I have seen other things just stuffed in a box with no, uh, you know, so, so they're free to bounce around. I don't think that's a good idea. I think things should always be wrapped up in a box. It's well secured and they're in a bag in a bag. So they're double bagged. Um, I thought I brought scissors. I did bring scissors, a lot easier than a knife. And here we are. And there are a bunch of them in there. I hope you can see that. I'm going to open this bag and pour them into a, a white two-gallon bucket. Let me get that bucket real quick. All right. Now I'm just going to set the bag. And once again, there's some java moss in there. I'm going to set the bag on the bottom of the bucket. So I'm going to grab the two corners of the bag. I know you guys can't see that. And I am going to uh, make sure it's open. Uh, grab it a little bit in the center, too. So everybody slides out into the pool, and they didn't. So I got to uh, get some water back in there. There we go. And there they go. Now, check the bag carefully. Make sure there's nobody left. So what do we got? 12 and 12. Nice. I don't know if we can see that. There they go. And let me get that java moss down into the water there. I don't want to anybody to suffocate although i have seen shrimp as long as they're wet i guess i've seen shrimp crawling up um uh, you know like aquarium waterfalls i had a mono shrimp go from one tank to the other they used uh, a pothos that was growing in one tank and dangling in another right up and over so there they are so let's start the drip this is the tank that's going to be their new home this is that 20 gallon that i put the last batch in and the lights aren't on yet, so it'd be really hard to show you any of that. I see some up in the hornwort here. Um, and it's just small Mickey Mouse platies. Uh, that was probably not a good idea, putting them in with the big Mickey Mouse platies last time. Um, so I moved them out. I caught a few of these small ones out. I'll continue catching them out and put them in with their uh, colleagues in another tank. So without further ado, I know I said do, uh, I'm going to start the drip. And just because, while well, I remember it, here's my drip rig. Okay, it's just a regular piece of airline, soft airline. And I've got a suction cup at a couple of them. This end goes in the tank over here, and it'll stick to the wall. This end sticks to the outside of the tank if I need to. And then there's a little airline or an air valve to control the flow. Uh, so what I'll do is hang this one end in. Get a little suction going and, and then adjust accordingly. All right, well, there we go. I set the, left the valve where I had it last time for drip, but that doesn't really work. May as well just open it full, 
start a siphon and then adjust it. And that's the adjustment right now. It's just a slow drip. And in an hour, it'll probably come up maybe, maybe about a half an inch. So I'm gonna let it go a couple inches. So, you know, maybe about four hours or so. There's no hurry now. So yeah, anyway, it was about uh, 10 minutes to 10 when, when the package arrived. So it's dripping now, it's almost 10 after 10. Uh, so it took 20 minutes to get everything set up, ready to go. And everybody looks alive. Let's take a quick look in the bucket, see how they're doing. There we go, I'm gonna move the moss and get, get them to scatter. Once again, I don't see any DOAs. Looks good, thank you, Tommy. And I will put this video up and send you a link. And I will also put Tommy's link up in the description for his eBay store. He's got a bunch of different kinds of shrimp. And I think other things as well. So I would not hesitate to take a look there if I were you. And no, it's not an affiliate link. It's just a link because he's a, one of those kind of eBay vendors that I enjoy doing business with a, as an eBay buyer. So I am going to net them out, I think is what I'm going to do. I was just going to pour them in, but I think I'll net them out and then pull the java moss out of there and drop it in this tank. And then I'll just top this tank off with some fresh water and kind of pretend to water change. Well, they've been dripping for about four hours now and they're doing laps. They look happy. I think it's about time I put them into their uh, tank with their new buddies. I had kind of a rough time with this uh, drip acclimation, the suction cup from the inside kept popping free and I turn around and it, I don't know how long it had been out, but let's do a count at the same time, just for fun more than anything. Piece of java moss, let me make sure that doesn't tangle into the uh, hornwort on the surface. So let's see what we got. Uh, there are three and four is nine. Boy, that math class really paid off, didn't it? 10 and a piece of java moss, and two is 12. Ooh, jackpot. Hold still, everybody. 12, 14, 16, 17. There's one, that's 18. 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24. These shrimp nets are really fine mesh, so they catch air. Makes them hard to uh, flip over sometimes. And 24, down in the, there it is. Last one. So I will take this water out onto the front porch and pour it in on uh, some potted plants out there. Never throw quarry water away. It is full of nutrients. Well, let's see if we can find some. There's one in the java moss right there. And I just saw another one swimming this way. They look like they're walking in water. It's They're fun to watch. I love little neocaridina. And there's one on the end of the tank there. There's another one, a couple of them, one on the crypt, one on uh, the glass, another one up there. So I think they'll they'll be happy. There's another one in, in the, there's a couple in the crypt in there. Uh, yeah, I think they'll be happy. So there's lots of, lots of stuff for them to eat. There's, you know, the food that drops from these uh, Mickey Mouse platies. And then I'll drop an algae wafer in once in a while and the shrimp will love those. Uh, and also uh, pieces of zucchini. It's another thing they go for. So anyway, there we go. Another successful unboxing of green jade neocaridina shrimp from, uh, T I think it's TN Houston. And I'll check and make sure in uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, and he's an eBay vendor. So I'll put the link in the description. Oh, there's a nice one there. And like I always say, thanks for looking.